All right, this is the update for the 2013 Accord EXL V6. This is my daily driver, and we live in Connecticut now. I guess I gotta get new plates. We just moved. It's been washed, I think, once. Um, this car is awesome. If you heard that, it's got a squeaky fan in it, I guess they'll have to look at when it's cold. This one will be quick. So, it's been lived in now. There it is with the kid seats. They're not in here too much, so they haven't destroyed it yet. I have zero complaints about this car. Um, of course, everybody wants to know, how's the nav doing, how's the nav doing? Well, make sure you let it, you, it boot up before you start hitting menu. And go, oh, now, now it's been running for a minute now, so it's fine. But if you would start this car, <laughs> twisting it like it has a key. If you'd start this car and hit menu, you would lose this speaker, most likely, because it would try to do the uh, sound generation and shut down that speaker, and then it wouldn't talk and it would lock up. So just give it time to boot up and it's good. Phone, use it every day, it works great. Now, what does it get? <laughs> Um, gas mileage wise so the previous trip here was 30.7 and I probably drive it 50 50 in green leafy mode with the econ and not oh another thing while we're down here now that we're in Connecticut I drive only 15 miles each way to work and it's 90% freeway so lane departure can stay on it's not annoying you never hear it I'm sure the wife does because she drives out of the lane uh, and the Econ, it, it doesn't really bother me to leave it on or off, so it's fine. Uh, let's see if I can go to history. Now, I don't, I didn't try to get good gas mileage. We'll just see what it was getting. So, was, oh, so these were the previous tanks. So, and it depends when you fill it up, right? <laughs> but uh, usually I run it pretty close to the end. So 432, 418, 383 mile, miles per the tank and averaging 28, 29 over the whole tank. Now like you see, I probably just came home the last time with this and got typically 30 miles of the gallon each way with the, uh, in econ mode. Now if you don't run in econ mode, you can get 32, 33 miles of the gallon as well. You just have to drive it the right way. Um, other than that, this car is still awesome. The Whenever it shuts down three cylinders, that has gotten a lot quieter. In fact, if you're over 40 miles an hour when it happens, you, you can barely tell. You need to know that it's doing it. A passenger wouldn't know. The collision warning up there is pretty cool. Uh, not that it saved me, but it gives you plenty early warning if you weren't paying attention. It's a good feature for the wife. Mm. The wife does plug her iPhone in when she's driving this one. So the Pandora and all that other stuff works good for her. Bluetooth's good. I still haven't messed with the hard drive and put anything on it. Aha, uh -huh, we, we haven't really used that in here. I don't see why we would benefit from it. No, it's all good. Oh, see how the mile, uh, I don't even know how to get to the miles. Trip B, oil life 70%. Oh, so I've had the oil changed once. And it, it ended up being right around uh, 8,000 miles, I think. Oh wow, so we have 12,488 miles on this now. Great car. Buy one. Oh, center roof here. Yeah, we haven't opened that yet, I don't think. I don't know why you can't just get cars without them. Alright, any questions, give me an email.